This is breaking news. Welcome to Illustrate Radio. Never mind who you thought I was. I'm Rick James, bitch. The one and only, the original. I was born by the river, I was shaking that ass, bending over, popping pizza, I was making that cat. Bring that ass here, boy. Turn it up! Fuck you, me. Great day, beautiful people, and welcome to another beautiful episode of Illustrate Radio. Make sure that you all are definitely make tune it in on live on WEMS Radio, YouTube. We are definitely there. And make sure you check out our previous episodes on Roku TV, seven on demand channel. And now that we've taken care of all house business, how are you doing, my beautiful co-host? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. I'm a little congested. Today was a long day, but you know, I'm good. We're going to get to it. <laughs> so DJ Stiletto will be joining in us a second. We're going to bring her back in. So for right now, let's make sure that we get into our Just My Luck segment. Great day, beautiful people. So it is just my luck that I had a dope experience opportunity to speak at the Federally Employed Women's Event this past Thursday. And it was an experience that um, I, I actually really enjoyed. Um, last minute changes, I wanted to change my speech. And my speech pretty much covered talking about women and the responsibility that we have. So talking about responsibility, I also come across Black China's um, tweet and then Rob and Tiger's <laughs> response to it. And in my speech, I reference women weaponizing the advantages that they have to against men. And this is a clear example of that. You're weaponizing your children. You're weaponizing your title because technically you are not even a mother for real. You're a whole ass donor because you do not have your kids Monday through Saturday. So and, and they're paying for everything. They're covering everything. So you literally made a post talking about, I had to give up my three cars. Why? Because of my morals. That's canceled. Another reason, because something else, which it doesn't matter. And another reason, because you're a, a single mother. You are a person that is single and happens to be a donor. And we need to stop doing this. Because at the end of the day, men are now tired and they're no longer being quiet, allowing us to get away with all of these flagrant plays that we keep doing. Take accountability. OK, maybe you needed this time to take a break, to rebuild, to do whatever. But stop seeking empathy or advantages from people when you got it kind of like I ain't gonna say you got it made because not having your children to me is not having it made like. But hey, that's just my opinion. And that is it for just my luck segment. So, yeah, I, I forgot to actually talk about what we have going on in the second half before you get to your beautiful segment as well. Um, we will talk. We're going to have a great hot topic. The hot topic is what is the weirdest things that happen during sex? And we also have a, go, a guest that's going to be coming in named Chris Jarrett. So, yeah, that's a mouthful. I should have mentioned that earlier, and I'm sorry. But, yeah, go ahead, T. Great. What you got for us today? With so my what's up, love? y'all? I'm T. Gray. <laughs> How y'all doing? <laughs> Clearly, I'm only visiting today. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> so sorry. I want to go ahead and hop into my love and Yes, I'm sorry. So today's love and is love and preparedness. Um, a lot of times we look at some of the challenges that we have in our lives and we assume that what we're going through at the moment um, be it negative or positive, whatever the case, that it's only in that moment or it's only getting us ready for what's happening in the now. But I would like for you all to kind of start dissecting some of the things that you're going through and understand that some of these things are in fact preparing you for your next move, for your next thing, for your next journey, for the next chapter. Um, not only is being prepared paramount in being able to receive blessings and being able to receive opportunities, but understanding that where you are in life and how these things manifest, um, it starts here. 
It starts from this little seed. It starts from um, could possibly be this one bad day or this one thing, or it could be you something as simple as being stuck in traffic at that moment and you've missed something else bigger that was down the road. But those things also happen in a positive way. Um, it could be dynamics changing in your world around you um, and whatever it is. But understand that all these things prepare you for the next thing. Your chapters are not over here, guys. Your story is still being written. You still have the pen. You still have the pad. You still have the paper. You're still putting things down. So just be mindful that all the things that you go through, no matter how you may view it, it's not all bad. It is merely preparing you for the next thing, for the next task. And in order to be ready, you have to always be prepared. A lot of people say, you know, stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Being ready is being prepared. So real quick, real simple. I even kept that at three minutes. Look at me. And it's quiet in here. And it's quiet oh, let me in unmute it. here. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. I said, and I said, um, yeah, that was actually a beautiful message. So I definitely wasn't ready when we came on. And when I'm not ready, I tend to like fumble to play sometimes. So, you know, my apologies, but I should have known that it was like my turn anyway. <laughs> but I just wasn't prepared. Anyway, welcome in DJ Stiletto. I'll go on. Peace and love and guidance. Mm -hmm. How you doing today? I'm doing good. <laughs> That's good. Um, it's been a long day, but I'm here. I'm waiting for my son to come home. Okay. All right. It's the phone with the. <laughs> and he answered, and I'm trying to. Yeah, got phone. you, got you. Okay, so moving right along, we're going to make sure we get into our spit that ish. Anytime now, anytime. Spit that ish. Spit that. So everyone already knows, and we're still talking about it in today's news, Will Smith slapping Chris Rock after making a joke at the Grammys about Jada, his wife. And the comment pretty much talked about G.I. Jane and that light. And yeah, Will Smith took his mighty 10 steps and gave him a little love tap. Um, that a couple of people heard, but I still can't really hear. It didn't really look that great to me. Um, still received his Oscar. I mean, yeah, he still received his Oscar and everything. Celebrated afterwards at a whole club. And then recently issued an apology, pretty much stating that he apologizes. No video or nothing public, just something written. Um, and the Oscars are also talking about this, talk about uh, revoking his Oscar from him. So... I don't know. I'm going to put my, I mean, you're going to say he slapped the shit out of him, but I don't know if he did though. I don't really feel, I felt like the whole form and everything. And the fact that Chris Rock, he took it like a G, but I don't know how much of a G cause you, ooh, cause you from New York. So I don't, I don't know. I, I'm thinking it's staged if you ask me, but I'm going to reserve my opinion because I definitely want to hear T Gray's cause this is like, I know she wanted to <laughs> get into it. She's like, no, but I don't. Nah, because I'm low-key tired of people talking about it. Thank you. Thank you. I, I am. You know what I mean? Like, when you said it was a love tap, that's exactly what it looked like. <laughs> it was right in everybody's face. What do we need to talk about? Um, That's why I don't know what the person comment talk didn't. about. It was a whole, he slapped the shit out of him. Weird. He didn't. He didn't. You cocked didn't. back to tap. I don't get, he like, didn't. it was a whole cock back. And you did. It was like, Carter it was like, <gasps> Yeah. Was, <laughs> like I think for a lot of people, a lot of people thought it was fake until he sat down and he started, you know, yelling. But at the end of the day, I don't think that they should take his Oscar. I, I think, think that it. his work was already done. He mm -hmm. had already won. He it just wasn't announced. Right. Um, so I don't think that they should take his Oscar. However, they should have escorted his ass up out of there though. Yeah. They should have gave him his shit in the back. Like the people who run off the stage of Maury, they should have gave him his shit in the bag. 
<laughs> and you know, let him accept it via video, whatever the case. They they should have done something like that. I don't think he should have been allowed to stay once he did that. He did whether he was right, him. wrong, or indifferent. Uh, like, I don't really so cousin, then he received the award, was crying like it was just a whole bunch yeah, of it was, it was a, a lot, lot of emotion, it was a lot. I, my thing is, why do we keep all right? So the Oscars or just these types of award shows or just TV and society, period. It's like they build you up, they set you up and break you down and then take away whatever they're going to give you. Because the joke was written last minute. It was inserted into the teleprompter. Will Smith, knowing this, knowing that these if you're really holding a grudge from the previous time Chris Rock said something in the past, there's something's wrong with you because again, these jokes are not written by the person, they're written by writers. And it's just for them to deliver and execute the joke. He said that that was a last minute change. So if the Meaning whole that world that is supposed joke. to know about their alope her alopecia, why the hell would the Oscars writers choose to set that in a joke, knowing that it could also probably go left if it wasn't a setup? That's why I feel as though they didn't escort him out. They allowed him to receive his award, give his speech, and do all those other things. So to me, it's giving fake. But I'm but I'm mad at all everybody, all the parties because yeah, I'm mad at everybody. If the writers wrote that, why did they give it to Chris Rock to say it? And at the end of the day, like you know, Jada and Will was already you know talked about with Chris at when he was the host previous Oscars or whatever else so for me it's like y'all saved that for intentionally for Chris Rock to say whatever you know what I'm saying and it's yeah. just like but hey ended up everything actually, and I agree with T they should have escorted his ass right on now okay really? that's enough out of you yeah, yeah you. let's go the even after he was <laughs> hey my wife's name Oh, oh she moved. Move. I was like, you based harder than you slapped him. Yeah, like, the you saw, you saw he the did. Your he base did. was harder than the all slap. his balls. I would have been the Peter and been like, oh, come on, it's time. I don't yeah. really know the last time I seen a grown man slap another grown man. <laughs> like, who even does that in 2022? <laughs> he didn't try to punch him yeah, or nothing. Him. Now, y'all keep hauling old Chris Rock from New York, but Philly don't play them kind of games. Like, yeah. I don't know no <laughs> Philly nigga today that's out here just slapping motherfuckers. Unless you're a retired pimp. I don't know that May one that's just out here slapping people. And then Jada, but, Jada didn't say, that's enough, boo. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. First of all, he, mean, was he, he was doing it in her honor, but at the same time, it's like, okay. You should have been a lot more in her honor back then, but we're going to talk well, about that. We could go into like, this. You know, just a little tap tap. You're doing too much, baby. Dog. I saw y'all how to wear. I, yeah. I saw y'all march. Will I march and I march, right? But how come you don't march, son, in August? <laughs> but I mean, Chris Rock. <laughs> He got anyway, <laughs> so it ended up working out for Chris because now yesterday's price is not today's price. My man tickets went from forty six dollars to four hundred and eleven minimum. And My guess man, what? I would be talking about the situation the whole time, and I don't. They just sit there and smack my He about to bank up. He about to bank up. And this is a glass half full shit I be talking about because everybody can say what they want. He looked like a bitch. He looked like a punk. He ain't hit him back. Or oh, he took it like a G because some people are saying that he took it really with a whole lot of grace. That's why I thought it was fake because he. He was laughing even that through the process. Like, he, he was just like he didn't even move back. It was like he went like this. They come, come here. Because it, it, it wasn't a real slap. Yeah, it like, was a love tap. It wasn't. It wasn't <laughs> like it I wasn't, don't know if y'all ever seen this, but like there is literally a slapping event. Like people get awards and win prizes and money for slapping. It's, it's, it's a competition. And like these men really size each other up. And I've seen this dude slap a man so hard, the man flew back like five feet. What Will Smith did is in comparison to how you might how, how you might tap somebody on the ass after a good night of sex. Like, mm, good job. You know what I'm saying? That's a basketball court. Mm, good job. It was like that's how he hit him. Like, good job. Like, really, I don't. I know a lot of people think it was staged. I don't necessarily think it was staged. It was but just I think, weird. I think his reasoning was stupid. And I think he's never really been in a real fight. 
And I think that if any time for you to show what your real masculinity is or for you to reach your breaking point, that that was not it. And Chris Rock with no mustache wasn't the face for you to prove how masculine Mm -hmm. you are. Like that wasn't that that wasn't it. And I don't like other Will Smith ain't never been in no fight for real, y'all. So we was at a party and I went up to I went up to Lucky like, did you see this shit? <laughs> right, like, like we was out partying, like, man, it ain't nothing. Anyway, had a party, like, like that didn't even matter. But at the end of the day, it seems like everybody's trying to capitalize off of it somehow because Will Smith and Jada Pinkett are also going to be talking about this on the red table talk. If that nigga cry, oh my god, that nigga cries at the red 100%. table. 100%. Again. He's gonna cry. He's gonna cry. I didn't mean to. So I was like, just I wish all and men when they period you come on would just like, no. stay home. Seriously, <laughs> every time a man period come on, he need to just stay and in the house. And gonna be sitting he right there, acting like the dude. Man cave, get him a little ice cream and sit down somewhere. And I'm talking yeah, to all men whose period be on. Yeah, y'all need to y'all need to chill. Okay, so. They need to chill. But in other good news, I'm going to say, it's, you know, March is not over yet. And what a way to end the month in March that the NFL is now announcing that they will be having, that everyone has to hire a minority. I don't know about how I feel about the woman, but it says, oh, it says women or minority offensive coaching positions for um, 2022 NFL season. Oh, baby. Okay. There we go. For the 2012 NFL season, um, which is pretty good. I guess every team up to will be reimbursed $200,000 from their fund to cover costs. This number will increase to 205000 in 2023. Now, this isn't going to likely apply to any of the old or previous gigs, but this is actually a step out. Shout out to the NFL for trying to reflect us more and minorities more, um, even though we majorities, I don't even like to say minorities, but women kudos to us as well and i hope we take the time to really be experienced well versed in it because it's nothing like you know bringing someone in just because they're a woman or a minority i think that it needs to be on a level of based of experience and those types of things but you know so it good it's good I, i'm proud of them that's what's up because they they i don't think that there's any <laughs> at all in the league so it took them forever but it's cool you know if we want to be Again, pick me on the stage. You know what I'm saying? What you What you think, T. Gray? You think it's a good thing? No, <laughs> no, I don't. And there is one woman in football. Um, definitely not enough. Definitely not enough black people as far as coaching staff in general. Mm-hmm. But I feel like teams are now flipping that coin. Do we want a woman? Do we want a minority? And you just tossing that shit up in the air and it lands where it lands. Mm -hmm. And that's not based on whether or not you're qualified Mm -hmm. to do the job. That just means you're here to fill this space so we don't lose money. Um, (laughs) You know, and, and I think that we had come a long way from just being the token black. Mm-hmm. And I think that this is just that. It just mm-hmm. so happens that it's 2022. So the verbiage is different. And it, the verbiage, I guess, is supposed to make people feel better about it. But that's what it is at the end of the day. And when you're on that team, whether or not you're going to receive the same level of respect because you worked hard to get there, I don't think it's going to be that. I think it's going to be, oh. Well, you're here because you're a woman. You're here because you're the black dude and Mm -hmm. you're the token person on the team. So I don't agree with it. But at the same time, will these people not be hired otherwise? Will this put, you know, money in their pocket, give them Mm -hmm. a different experience? Of course it will. It'll be good for the person. But how they're treated off off camera and what type of level of respect they're going to receive I don't, I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't see, see it that. being any different. I don't, I don't see. It. I. Don't, I wouldn't want to be the token anything. Definitely not the token black nor the token woman. I wouldn't. But respectfully, I agree. <laughs> um, but you know, I had to be like the glass half full, and I guess, like you said, but to me, it, that's why it's important. When I said, you know, experience that really, really matters. Like, there, I'm sure there are a lot of qualified people who've never get, been given a chance. So hopefully, this will open up that oppor- you know, that opportunity. But we need to be reflected in more ownership to me than being little worker bees again. 
that's what they should have did. And you're right. You made some good points too about it being about money as well. Um, so talking about, oh my goodness, Joe Biden, y'all president, signs a bill. <laughs> um, the Emmett Till Anti-Lynching Act law. Um, on Tuesday, President Joe Biden officially signed, y'all President Joe Biden signed the Emmett Till Anti-Lynching Anti-Law. He was joined by Rose in the gar Rose Garden outside the White House with Kamala Harris, Michelle Duster, et cetera, et cetera. I don't even want to read this story. That's why I didn't even go over it to like know it like I did all the other ones because there were, the fact that this is, that, that we're still talking about lynching in 2022 Yep. Like we still, and this is, I just, I don't know. I'm a little, <laughs> the fact that we're still talking about lynches in 2022 yeah, in the climate that we're in right now. And you want to come out with some law because now we're noticing that you ain't really doing shit for us. And this is supposed to be like, oh, okay, cool. I'm doing something for you. Another token. No, no. This, this is this bill don't even matter because it, it hasn't it, none of the laws that you've put into place have really been enforced to protect us. OK, none. So while you try to do this and you over here targeting um, Nubian people in New York City with that stupid ass law that you just created, you know, what I'm saying because now they're targeting corners, gambling, whatever you're doing outside. If you hanging out, they targeting you. You try to cover some oh this. This law don't even make no sense to me. Thoughts? I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't even really have no clear thought because I just felt like I went on a rant. <laughs> and I just feel like every subject today is on my nerve. Um, <laughs> this one isn't any different. Okay. This one isn't any different. At the rate that this country is operating, especially given the political climate, it will be 21 maybe 2200 before the anti-cops kill black people law goes into effect so <laughs> i'm not impressed not <laughs> i'm not I'm, I'm, I'm i'm not impressed no I'm, I'm not impressed i'm not impressed this isn't going to stop young white kids on college campuses throwing nooses over trees it's not going to stop maybe possibly finding a body in this thing. It's not going to stop that. Granted, we don't even really get lynched anymore. Mm -hmm. We don't. We, we we really don't. We get the unarmed shooting in the back. No, so, you'd be surprised. The on, on the knee, on the neck. You know what I mean? Like it's not. Yeah. It happens. I'm not saying it never happens, but not to the extent when this law would have made a difference. Sense. Mm -hmm. Not to the extent when people were writing songs about bodies hanging from trees, because that's what you saw every day. Every you know, you riding down a road, you see bodies hanging. It's, it's definitely not to that extent. But I am not impressed by Joe Biden, and I, I know, know that a lot of people are. <laughs> I know that a lot of melanated people were for him because they were so pressed to be against Trump. But I am not impressed. He At told y'all, y'all will be crazy. Y'all will be stupid if you didn't. You wasn't black if you didn't vote for him. I think I'm still black. I'm pretty sure this shit don't wash off. I'm pretty <laughs> sure. I'm pretty sure. And stories like this, just for me, just kind of sealed the deal. People felt like they were given some sort of gift when Juneteenth was made a holiday. Like I don't feel on. like that was a gift to me. That's Jewish not that's a slap had in the holidays, face. federal holidays for years and years and years. And that's not a race, that's a religion, and they get plenty. So I'm not impressed by this, but you yeah, know, they Joe got Biden, Yom Kippur, they pick, got other pick, pick, like pick another black holidays. to to work on. Pick another black something to do. But thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm just not. not feeling that whole presidency. The whole, the whole entire the whole, everything. Wipe them all. Throw the whole shit away, because. At the women's event, they was like, and we would like to give a special shout out for our Madam Vice President and everything that she does over for us. And they panned over to me and I'm like this. Crickets. Like, <laughs> I, I will not be fake on no level. I'm sorry. I can't. <laughs> no level at all. Nope. Because she ain't doing nothing for us. Nothing. Oh, okay. So our, um, our guest is in. 
So Stiletto, are you going to take us out for a mizix real quick, a little five minute jizzling or whatever? Um, yeah, I can. Okay, cool. Because I didn't, I didn't know that he's been on. Normally, you know, the producer like hips us and be like, "Oh, the guest is in." So when she comes back from the mix, we're going to bring in hey. Chris Dredd and he's going to get in on our hot topic. And we're going to talk about some other things as well. And the hot take for tonight is what is the weirdest thing that happened to you on the first date or in the bedroom? And definitely got a story to tell. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Just thinking about it cracks me up every time. But go ahead and take us out, Stiletto. We'll be back with y'all in a minute. <laughs> hey. Hey, Stiletto. Stiletto. <laughs> Shout out to you for that mix. That's what's yeah. up. So, yes, we're going to bring our guest in, Chris Dredd. Welcome, yeah. entrepreneur and influencer. Well, I'm going to I'm going to say content creator. I like that better. <laughs> That's a good one. Y'all can hear me? We can hear you. Yeah, we can hear you. That's good. That's good. All right. So we're going to get right into our hot take. Okay. So the topic is, what is the weirdest thing? Well, you know what? First of all, let me actually give a little bit more insight about you because I don't just like to brush over. We usually introduce our guests and give a little bit more than that. So let me not do that to you because <laughs> I'm so ready to talk about this. I'm over here rushing over the topic. Um, so Chris Dredd is a dear friend of mine, and he's he's actually very, very present um, in the social media platform. And what I love about him is that everything that he's geared towards is towards healing and inspiring and uplifting. And he definitely has a lot of jokes and singing songs and all that for you, too, <laughs> As well um and he also owns a body company called uh madison haru or no maddie haru or was it madison haru madison haru, yeah. 
Madison Haru, yes. And you all can make sure you check it out. He has a link in his bio and all that good stuff. So welcome, Chris. What's good? What's going on? <laughs> yes, everyone, that's T Gray. And this is our host, DJ nice Stiletto. Nice I mean, our DJ, DJ Stiletto, and our host, T Gray. <laughs> Look, Chris. I'm going to get it together. I told y'all when I'm not prepared, like, this was kind of last minute. But let's get into the hot take. <laughs> I'm going to let y'all go first. What is the weirdest thing that has happened? I'll let our guests go first. Maybe do you have any stories that you could tell about the weirdest thing that has happened on a first date or in the bedroom? It doesn't have to be too personal. How could it not be personal? (laughs) (laughs) Facts. I think think sexually, I think the craziest, one of the craziest situations was my first I mean, we like it's it's candid. Like we can get that. You can be like, candid. Oh yeah, yeah. This illustrates. So you illustrate the story. You can speak. You can be real vocal. You can say whatever you want to say. This illustrates. Well, right, so my one of my first threesomes was really strange. You know, it was really <laughs> awkward because what re- literally this is a true story. What really happened was um, they were drunk and they were they started to argue about who was going to go first, and they like started quarreling. <laughs> Let and me I take was, a drink, cause and yeah, and I, like they literally. Hold on, wait. Like, I'm gonna put my headphones on for this, cause I gotta make sure I hear everything. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, like they literally started to quarrel over who was gonna go first, and it became so weird. I got so destimulated. I was just like, "This shit is silly." Like this, you know what I mean? This, this is weird. And um, one of them got so angry that they ended up leaving, cause she wanted to go first, but they were drunk. You know, so I think some sort of emotionalism <laughs> came over it, and, and so it was weird. I don't so, know. It, so, so the three didn't happen. Nah, but I yeah, I, I dealt with the one that remained. You know what okay. I mean? <laughs> we just kind of right. finished that up, but th- that was really strange. That was a very strange. Yeah, that, 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 you wrapped that right on up. That yeah. one. Yeah, yeah you just hey. t- took care of her. You know, but as, okay. as women, I'm sure y'all had more. Uh, impressive stories than that you know so i'm eager to hear what y'all got <laughs> first of all no. you said no. <laughs> you said one of my first threesomes how many first <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, how that's many sad. first threesomes <laughs> did you have <laughs> that was in the back of my mind but i was like right. <laughs> <laughs> i guess what i was trying to say like, first three. early on like early on when that that those things started to be experimental you know that was one of my early experiences with that type of thing you know so that's what i meant <laughs> what number are we up to now i know oh, are like, we up to, are to, we to, to our third you know, of my fourth threesome i mean throughout my life i've had i've had countless you know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, okay. countless. So we're not going to count. You got okay. yeah, to understand, like, you know, growing up, especially in my general, I don't know how old y'all are, but I'm like, I'm 39. But like in my 20s, when I was in my 20s, there was a lot of um, by curiosity going on. And it mm-hmm. still is. But this mm-hmm. was like um, sort of t- the taboo coming off of girls being interested in girls and, and women. Girls. Okay. You know, yeah, okay. you know, sort of, sort of um, experimenting with their attraction towards each other. And um, you know, some some of us capitalized on that, and we was just in the right places at the right time. You know what I'm saying? And um, not bad, Christian. Yeah. So I think I think for my generation, a lot of that went on. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, and it's behind us now, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> but um, one of yeah, that was that was no a very um, you know odd one. But I'm I'm eager to hear y'all stories. I could go right at and share, you know, because I know y'all got some stories. Man. Wow. Where's yeah, Stiletto? I know you got some stories. <laughs> come on, Stiletto. Look. Look. Come on, Stiletto. You next. Do, 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 do. No names. We're not using no names. <laughs> oh, wow. We call names. No, I said we're not using oh, names. We're not, we're not, I'm not going to use no names. Yeah, leave a name. Um, <laughs> weird flex. Uh... I don't even know if I should be telling this story. <laughs> well, tell it, tell it, because now we want to know. You can't get us halfway. Oh, now we that's halfway fine, it. and I'm not ashamed. Down. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we said one, how not say, not. You know. Know. How do we this get one. here? Keisha. Come on. No, it's not my fault. I put a lot of topics in the group chat, and nobody. <laughs> Tony picked um, this. One. <laughs> 
me and my partner at the time decided to experiment and do some shit outside. Um, I'm already like it. And we, I, we might have been under the liquor. I mean, I don't want to be like blaming on alcohol every time, but you know, a lot of times, especially you know, in younger days when you was adventurous and shit. Um, yeah. Um, it was some car action outside. Mm. Um, it got. It got, it got, and um, we didn't realize that we had an audience. Oh. <laughs> my, my. I mean, like a, a nice little size audience, like, <laughs> oh, shit, call your friend. I think they fucking, like. <laughs> oh, wow. I, I mean, there's many times around that time where I would check Pornhub just to make sure that I wasn't posting on the high type. So bad. Right. You, uh, you probably did. <laughs> probably, maybe so. Probably can't probably tell is. now, but you know, it happened. Yeah. Whatever. If, if if it is on there, I would like to make my money. So get, get your coin, collect your <laughs> coin. Be like, who posted a bitch this? Was, a bitch was acrobatic around the listen. No, you still afro. The thing is, the thing is, you're still great. very much. Hold up, wait. People need to know. Still after you're still out going. You see it? You're still very I mean, acrobatic. yeah, but you know, that's not everybody, but, you know, this yeah, certain sure. stuff, it was just more like <laughs> <laughs> you know, and you know, you had like that one partner where you like to do certain shit with. Yeah, y'all was having fun. Like, for you know, you Let me ask you a question. What are you, you doing? Like, hinting at what were you doing exactly? What was the actual thing <laughs> that was? What did the people <laughs> see? Because, like, you know, I'm, I'm kind of curious now the way she was talking. <laughs> what were you doing? You know what I mean? She said acrobats. Um, yeah, the leg up. On the shoulder, yeah, one foot on that, neck, a, one hand on my front. Leg, I put you through the front <laughs> <laughs> it was just—it was a couple of things. Like it wasn't like a a one second situation. Though we were oh, in, okay. yeah, we was were into it. in the mix. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And it, it needed to go down, and it, and it went, it went down. You know. So when you became privy to the fact that people was watching, it I didn't. I no, I didn't stop at that point. They probably had already seen. <laughs> and that's my one. girl. <laughs> I'm still gonna get mine. So again, see me on Pornhub. Just let me know so I can get my my coins, my royalties from that. Thank you. Love it. Okay, T. Gray, you know I'm waiting because yeah. I know, I know. Come on, T. Come on. T. You better not come in. Oh, no, 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 no. Like that. You better not come in. Your high pitch voice is telling all lies. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, bye. We can, all, be a first day. Hey, we can be a first day. It don't have to be the devil. Last show when she said she snatched souls and they on the counter of the drawer. I mean, the drawer. <laughs> 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 Close the job, y'all. Oh, clearly, that's well, really to be honest with you all, weird. So, just thinking about that word, y'all know how I be weird experience. I had sex with a dude who was weird as fuck, <laughs> but like overall, have I had weird <laughs> shit happen? Oh, I've had nasty right. shit happen, I've had crazy shit, but so that, crazy just that weird one the dude was weird. So this dude and I and I and and this messed up because this is like one of these sexual situations that you lock away, throw away the key. You don't even want to tell nobody about this shit. Because it was my homie, and it was just on some. It was just on some one-off type stuff. Your homie, but see, the nigga laughs. Y'all know like Krusty the Clown off of The Simpsons type. Like he laughs during sex, and so what? he feels <laughs> like. Like he's conquering you or whatever, <laughs> but he laughs, and then the fact, and then he got a gap. So the fact that he got a gap and he got this <laughs> type, like he's laughing, like crusty the Bye clown during set. It was the weirdest shit in the Bye world to me. Like. I couldn't keep moving forward. He thought he was doing things. I'm like, this, this shit it weirded me out. And like I had to have a talk with this nigga after the fact. Where's our producer? Like, Can you put everybody like face that was on the weird? Screen? Huh? Like, she said, said, we need to ask, um, we need to ask our producer to put everybody's face on the screen because I need to know if this is looking like how I'm looking. <laughs> no, it was weird as shit. Like I felt so crazy. Like, how the you clown. freak me out during the sex? Like he was it was creepy as yeah. fuck. 
But so let me mean, like, he head. was so into it, but just laughing like that shit was not. Yeah, nah, nah, it was weird. He, he was laughing. Did he, did he yeah. laugh too? Well, did it's you like, like laugh? Like the first laugh that you'd be like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> So, yo, so first off, I wanted to bust, okay? So, in my mind, I'm like, let me just see this through because I need it. Yes, in down. a minute, like, he got this long dick. Let me just so, go ahead and get this long So, it was good dick. enough for you to nut from? Even with the <laughs> so, the laugh is what fucked it up, though. Now, he had already gave me head at the jump. So I had already came a few times. I had already had several in the hole. Okay. I was, okay, I was I already good. Okay. But the fuck it. Like, and he was, he was, he was, he was trying to tear it up. You know what I mean? But the laugh, that shit fucked me up so bad. I couldn't, I couldn't okay. move forward. So I how did you get it? I had to be like, like yo, what's right. going on? What you doing? And he was right. like, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, nigga, stop. Like, you're did like, you hit him with like, I got a pee or something. Like, how did you stop? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, so I tried to switch positions. Okay. okay. Okay, because I'm thinking maybe you're only laughing because of the position, and maybe you know no. that's where his head is. You thought he was laughing at you? No, I didn't think he was laughing no. at me. I thought that because he's like he has this conquering thing in his mind. Like, so, so let me give you another bit of background on how weird this nigga used to say shit. So one. He only wanted to eat my pussy at first, okay? And he's like, that's okay. all I want to do. Like that's all I need. That's all I want. Respect. And so he like says, <laughs> he'll what? eat you so good, though, that he wants, that. he wants to make you almost beg for the dick. You know what I mean? Like, he wants it to be a controlling thing so that by the time you actually do get the dick, I guess in his mind, it's a conquer thing. It's like, I won. But, he, and, but instead of beating it up because you won and you the man he laughs it's weird as fuck he laughs and it what sound like call him i have questions <laughs> what it's what weird as fuck like no, it was that's weird. fucking hilarious so like, i'm like and maybe up. you don't think like he because he thought he was punishing my pussy like he thinking he's tearing it up the more he thought he was tearing it up the more he laughed so in my mind i'm like okay what if i turn around and i just throw this thing back on him and now I'm conquering, you know. Now I'm winning. That nigga got even weirder, y'all. He got even weirder. He got even weirder. Like I couldn't. <laughs> like I couldn't. He was weird as fuck. But you see how y'all was like? Did you laugh? Because I was like, you see how when she was like, all he wanted to do was eat her pussy, and y'all was like, oh, this we like him. You know? But that's not because really sometimes case, that's all you really need. You know what yeah, I mean? But Everybody that's not need to. Most women that you know. we encounter today, you you, you want to just give them head and just chill. And nah, that's a tease to them. Now they want to fuck. And and when you don't have sex with them, they get upset. So it's yes weird. No. Like, it depends. Yes or no. Because it, it, it depends on how it much you're like, that it's really, guy. No, it but it's some, it's like, okay, for it's instance, out here like, you literally. for me, it's like, you know, you when you have multiple eyes, you had different experiences. It's like sometimes you get to that point where like a, a dude can do that. He's like, you know what? This is not, this is not it. Like you won't feel it. And it's like, oh my goodness. Like you won't have the craving to be like, yes, like we need to have sex right now. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna have it. And there's some niggas that just like, like for instance, if you flip it, there's some guys that's just like, I just want some head. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They don't wanna be like, oh, then I, I need oh, that. With, with, us, it, it, with us, it Everybody always won. determines <laughs> on how attracted we are to that woman. If we're not that attracted to a dude would we'll take you know, right, they're gonna take little, the head regardless. Head, you know? But if we really desire her, we want it all. Just and that's what and I'm so saying. Feel some like. people, and this is just my personal opinion, like you can have a craving, you know what I mean? You can have an insatiable lust for but something. You know. I have days. Well, I just want to suck some dick. Like mm. it's not, it's not that I, I don't want to fuck. It's not that I'm not willing to give it to you. I appreciate it. But, but it's just that you know, it's just I could. That's that's what's on my that's mind. I, I could exactly. about this shit all day long, and I, I was just I about get to, to it. It's like, oh, that's you know what I mean. And, and I, I come off that, that. Some men have that same type of insatiable right. love when it comes head. That, some I men have just want to devour you. Like they just want to spend all day down there. It's niggas who would just lay down there just to smell you for 20 minutes. Yep. They want, you know what I mean? Before they even get to eat it, they just want to lay in that. They just want to be right. Yeah. Yep. It's just, you know, 
that piece is very subjective. Like it doesn't always have to be penetration to have a fantastic or amazing sexual experience. It doesn't always absolutely have to be not. penetration. Yeah. And yeah, then for real, if you do that shit right, nigga, you going to fuck to sleep anyway. Cause that, that, that nut, that, that day, that, that, that day when all I want to do is suck this is what That's when I suck that's your body soul. Souls in this job. As we maturate over the years, we start to tap into that feminine sexual energy where mm -hmm. we become like lesbians and shit. And we into like a lot of foreplay, a lot of head, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of hands and mouth. It's you know, not it's bad. Just, no, That's no, no. Bad. This is this is excellent yeah. because it's the libido. It's that libido sexual stage that women are often in where, mm -hmm. you know, it's a lot of sensuality. And, and you got to really combine that when you in your early 20s, you look in the burst somebody punani you know what i mean that's your, your, <laughs> your, all your energy is going into having these sexual experiences and what pornography does to the young man's mind is give him a levels of explicit sex the visions of explicit sex that is not normally offered ordinarily by any female you know what i'm saying so mm. you have to take these pornographic ideas and try to figure out which woman can associate with to that type that. of frequency of sex right. you know i want to get i want to get into that i want to yeah. get into that and i also want to talk about women also playing with the uh roles and having the toys and everything like that but just real quick let me go over my story because my story's short it's real short all right so cool we out there we out on a date and um, I'm like, yeah, we're going to go back to the room. And it's not really like going back to the room to fuck, but it's going back to the room to burn something and chill and cool out, whatever, right? Um, we've never had sex at all at this point. And but I... Did you, have, did you want to have sex with you? Um, I wouldn't say that I wanted to, but I'm going to say that I, it's not like I not wanted to. It. to. Yeah, it's not like I'm going to say I didn't want to do it, right? Because okay. over time, we've gotten to know each other. It was cool or whatever, right? So at the time... Um, anyway, I stayed in the hotel and I was like, all right, I'm gonna change my clothes and get comfortable. I put on like a t-shirt and a pair of shorts, big t-shirt. He's like, oh, what is this? This, that, and the third. And I take my makeup off my face because I don't really wear a lot of makeup. Hey, and he changed. was like, you so I changed. Like I put on the t-shirt. Like pum -pum. it wasn't it. Like no, no hair. pum pum shot. These was like biker shorts and the t-shirt covered my front. So my front not even out or not like that, right? So it ain't like it's cuffing. You know how you do the those shorts and they be the cuffing. The ones buff up. Yeah, the pum pum buff eyes. No, I'm going have that part. <laughs> so so, and, so anyway, so I called the room and he, we talking and he was just like, take your wig off. Nigga. <laughs> Nigga, what? <laughs> like, he take said, yeah. Take, yeah. Take he, was like, take, he was like, take your wig oh, off. And I was like, off the motherfucking chain. <laughs> that's what the sex to be he, When I mean, the what? thing is, the, the beautiful thing though is, is that the way he looked at me in my eyes, he was so serious. Yeah. And it was like low off. Yeah. So he was like, no, nah, you, you need me to help you. And I was just like, I'm a, I took it off and I had my stocking cap on it, right? He was like, yeah, take that off. <laughs> I want to see. I want to see everything. I want to see what you're doing. I want to see. Yeah, you want no wardrobe malfunction. Nothing. He was okay. just like, I want to. And he said, I also want to smell your coffee. <laughs> Okay. He put his hand. I was, I was like, "But I said, thank God." Wait a minute. And thank God, my cornrows was not. What? My cornrows was like semi-fresh, like four or five days old, type fresh. So it wasn't he like to smell the scalp. Oh, yeah, he wanted. Man, to, yeah, he wanted to he smell. He wanted the scalp. freaky niggas. Now that's a yeah. freaky. <laughs> <laughs> he probably he wanted smell the scalp. That's healthy. Oh, that's healthy. We smoked. We smoked a that's little healthy. bit. We smoked a little bit. So he wasn't even like. He turned out there. He was in there sucking your toes and picking to the He probably turned your ass out. Goddamn right. As he should. I was like, I was like yo, when I mean cracking up for. I'm cracking up for like 45 no, minutes. I, I would have been intrigued. Like, what else you want to know? <laughs> <laughs> it was because that is a very intimate oh, thing. Like right. when somebody wants to connect with you like mm -hmm. that and they like, oh, mm -hmm. I think you're beautiful. Your skin is amazing. Like fuck these cornrows. I don't give a fuck. Like yeah. that shit is actually a super turn on. So I'm, I'm going to say. In, your in, hand, in, wash your hand. He probably would have washed the shit out your skin. <laughs> let me scratch your whole let scalp. Let me clean your scalp. scalp. Okay. Come on and braid my hair, R. Kelly shit. He was gonna be on it. But that was that, that was in that, that moment. Movie. That's what I'm saying. In that moment, I I, I was like, shit, I kind of do. He was like, no, nah, we're not gonna rush it because you said you like fluidity, so we just gonna chill. 
And yo. So it's he did all things. that. And it's two things, things y'all gotta know that a man. I mean, not all, not the whole time, but yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Two <laughs> things y'all gotta know that a dude take y'all real serious, and I'm talking about he like you, like you. If he wanna like wash your hair and shit, and get into I your hair, that. and he's into your natural skull. He wanna see your yes. real skull, your your real yes. head, and he like that. And if he could go in the bathroom after you took a ducks, and it's not awkward. <laughs> I promise you, if he if he puts himself in that position, he really fuck with you like like y'all friends, the family type love. You know yeah, 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 yeah. It's like it's a that level of comfort. It, it's, yeah. it's to the yeah. point where he accept you in his life, and like I could see myself coexisting with you in in, right. in, in you know in in a, in a, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Cause yeah. Them shit, men don't do shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Yo, they bro, you, they don't do that. Yo, what it being said. Like, to this, every time I think about it, to this day, I still fucking crack. <laughs> like it's, it's like it happened yesterday. Like that is, it is. Yeah, it is. This nigga. What happened? What happened? <laughs> no, nah, I mean, he's still in the background. You know, what I'm saying he ain't gone nowhere. Yeah, he's still, yeah, he's still in the background. Yeah. No, but I mean, like in the background, like oh, we still cool, and it's, you know, what I'm saying that type you of. You throw that ass from time to time. That's what you're saying. No, I'm not even. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> you keep it on the hush hush. I see what you're saying. Go ahead. I mean, not really. Not really. You know what I'm saying? Nothing like that's current. You but said you know. not really. No, really. You know what I'm saying? Some semi God. shit. Because I like to kiss, and I feel like kissing is like an intimate, that's, you know. That's so personal to me. That's a that's a very uh, personal that's thing. That's how you know I really so like like crazy that if I really yeah. like kiss you. So I, no, that's I why mean, I, I, I think I think what a lot of young men have encountered is the creepy moment when a girl don't want to kiss you but she want to suck your dick. And it's like, all right, yeah, this is this is a little strange, you know what I'm saying? Because no. that's first base, you know what I mean? Kissing is what leads to. I'm weird. I don't like none of that. Oh, you muted. Oh, because a call came yeah, in. Some, oh, my God. Somebody gosh. was calling my phone. Okay, go ahead. It's um, out. It's out. No, yeah, that, but that kissing is first base. You know what I'm saying? And, mm -hmm. you know, some people are not into kissing. They say, oh, it's too emotional. It's too personal. Mm -hmm. And I don't mm -hmm. feel so. You know, I, I, I think that's a conversation. Uh, you know how much you could learn from a woman when you kiss her? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. oh, you, when you kiss a woman, she can tell you through the kiss if she's afraid of you. She can tell mm. if she wants you. She can tell mm. if she, when you kiss her, if she don't want you, you you'll know through the kiss too. You will know. Yeah. Yes. And mm -hmm. you know, so that 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 conversation is very important. And I don't see nothing wrong with it. Okay. Exit again. No, but that, that is a very valid point. I yeah. talk to people about sex all the time. And a lot of men say, and more so men than women will yeah. say, you know, that the kissing is so personal. They don't want to do that. But how personal and how vulnerable is my entire naked body in front of you <laughs> that you're willing to put your mouth on every other yeah, part, the part. every What's other purposes, every other, and I mean, you know, asshole included, you <laughs> willing to put your whole tongue in my ass. But not kiss like that to me does not make sense. Make any it's sense. Like but where, like, is the rest of my body no longer intimate to you? You know mm -hmm. what I mean. Right. Like, why is it why that from it, the neck mm -hmm. up it matters, but from the neck down, like, it's just like it doesn't. Like, like you, you go straight for the head. Like I had a dude who literally would just go straight down. Like I'm like, damn, can I get a kiss or a hug or yeah, no, like, plus a nipple? Like, because I am very sensual in that way, and that's why that was no. a cancel for me. Look, I, no, that that's a please <laughs> turn off for me because then it makes me feel like so you do this. Like, everywhere, right? Like, everywhere. Yes. See, but and, that, and that, that's that's also a thing too, because like I hear a lot of women say that, but when y'all meet a real freaky nigga, of course you know he doing this shit to every chance he get. So the things y'all like, everybody else like it too. But I wouldn't necessarily <laughs> allow just any everybody to go down. Like I just feel like I, that's why I don't kiss, and that's another thing too, as far as kissing. But why you like, a man, a man do something really, really good that one you do this to every girl? Yeah. No. This didn't so work. I think it's I think it's more so the working. 
the speed <laughs> at which you attain it. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, you do. Like, yeah, yeah, I love giving head, but I'm not just going down on every nigga. Like, it's I mean, and I'm not, not fucking do that shit. Not, and I'm not every nigga's not fucking just because I like to fuck. Like that's it's just it's just not the case. Right. right. They can I think, you, know, you have to have like some you have like, to have I a level like of like you, head, you think we should actually go straight for the head. With, no, I think know. I think women should be very um they they should critique who and what they do things with, absolutely. But mm -hmm. men, I don't think men go into sex men like don't care. I don't think men don't go into sex like here, here it is this girl oh, I, I don't really that. value her the same way as I, so I'm gonna like purposely give her mediocre sex you know what I'm saying because we yeah. are we are mm. it, it does happen but we are the initiators of sex so if a man is in any interest of his sexual reputation he at least wants to please the woman as much as he possibly can. Some you know what I'm saying? But mm. some dudes don't care about that at all. Like they ain't care. Yeah, and they about super. Their they just there for that for their nut. Mm -hmm. And you know. I had that same guy who used to just go straight for the head. He used to be like, yo, can you um like I knew all, everything that he liked, right? And this is why we stopped talking. Because I was like, Can you tell me what I like? I, I know that you like your nipple suck. I know you like bright red and pink lipstick. That's a big deal. You know what I'm saying? It's the nigga dog like bright. Was yes, dark he's dark skin. He's dark skin, tall, six five. Okay, and 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 didn't like like I could be on top doing my. Th you hear me doing my thing? I can't even get a nipple suck. I had to like. What you do? We got. It <laughs> <laughs> was, you know what I'm saying, right? <laughs> Doing my thing, and I'm just like, son, I want to. I would, and the, the reason why I'm riding like a rodeo because I also want to come. And I, the, mm -hmm. I was that comfortable, really you know, when you have okay. sex with somebody for a long time, and I'm not really wanting to be like, oh, let me get this, let me get that. We were having sex for a long time, and I'm just like, bruh, three years on it. Come on, man, you should know everything no, exactly. already. Everything like. And he couldn't answer the question. It was crickets. And I said, I don't this understand is how men it got to that point. I was like, could have so much sexual experiences and still not take something away from and be grown men. Learning, you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, the more sexual experiences you have, you know, you're supposed to take something away from studying that anatomy and the pathologies of pleasure. Like, For you sure. know, there's there's a thing in the in the masculine community where we get together and we talk about women who we know have a high promiscuous reputation or just a lot of sex and promiscuity is not a negative thing. Um, I think in the Western society, that word is demonized, but most people have a promiscuous past, you know, where they had a lot of sex, did a lot of things, experimented a lot of things. And we demonize these things and we weaponize it against each other. But truthfully, most really efficient lovers that we have that are women, um, had to do a lot of freaky shit to get there. You know what I'm saying? And it shouldn't be looked down upon. And it's the same thing. Most men who really know how to please a woman had to do it a lot. You know what I'm saying? So there's a thing where we demonize. I mean, yeah, we demonize um, <laughs> certain things. And, you know, we make people feel guilty about some of the experiences that they had. But it's what makes you an efficient lover eventually. You know what I'm saying? So Yeah. I definitely want to bring you back on because I feel like we don't have enough time and I wanted to talk about like the sexual experiences and becoming numb with, you know, over sexualizing and toys and porn and all of that stuff. So and let me, I'm sorry. So what exactly, uh, uh, let me, uh, let me think about this question before I ask you. <laughs> It looked like she wants to say something. And then Chris got Chris got the bedroom eyes. He like, yeah. No, nah, like I that? just smoked the split, so I'm yeah. <laughs> you could have just went with it. Dang, you could have just took the compliment. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, that ain't it. I ain't even trying to be sexy on the show. No, nah, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> it just naturally, it just naturally happens. Okay. Yeah. So do you speak for men like as far as like some somewhat with like our host? T Gray does like the sex as expert. Do you speak on it a lot? Do you have like she's trying to figure out your expertise and why you're so classes, well seminars? Oh, I do a lot. I do a lot of public speaking. You know, I do a lot of. But like, is it sexual or yeah. no? It's just well. Oh, well, to be, to be quite honest with you, I have a lot of talks about sex. Um, you know, 
I talk about health. You know, I just talk about a lot of things. You know, I talk, I'm, I'm mainly, you know, someone that's really geared towards our health and our mm-hmm. wellness. Um, but I, I definitely deal with the realms of, you know, just the sociological aspects, human sexuality, nature, and, you know, different okay. things. I deal, I deal with metaphysics, alchemy, mm. whatever. Like, I talk about everything under the sun. Everything. Sun-like. Okay. Because I see how deep you get when you do refer to certain, you know, topics, wherever we're oh, doing yeah. with certain stuff. So yeah. um, This is why I wanted to have him back on. Yeah, like, yeah we would have to have you back on. Yeah, we gotta have you back on so we can dissect. Yeah, so I wasn't ready. Yeah, absolutely. You know, anytime. You know what I mean? That's how. I so, like um, again, I'm appreciative for having you here. Let the people know where they can find you and your con- your amazing content. Okay, pretty. Please look at my story too, because I think his story may have disappeared with the post that today. So y'all make sure y'all I'm look that up. Post, look man. up my man, Chris Dredd. Yeah, so where you know Chris you said Dredd. Instagram, Chris Dredd. Uh, Facebook, Chris Dredd. Um. You know, y'all just holla at me. Anytime. Is it off? <laughs> oh, the, yeah, no, that looks like you. Yeah, all you could, yeah, that's the hat, the hat. famous picture with the hat. I love that, yeah, that's so distinctive. He's had that picture forever. I'm like, son. Yeah, but you can't, bit- <laughs> you can't <laughs> at him. You can't, I can't at you. Yeah, yeah I know. You know, I, I've been. He's been. Yeah, I've been shadow banned many days. On oh, you've been brand. shadow banned. Oh. He's been shadow banned for like six months. They freed him up for like 24 hours. I was able to at you. <laughs> and the, the man on my ass. Man. The man on my ass. Because he for the people. Ass, for real. They don't want me saying certain shit. They listening to my shit. They deleting my videos. Yep. This is what it is, though. Yeah, hashtag him, though. He, he'll definitely see it if you hashtag it, too. Okay, hold on. Mm-hmm. I'm going to hashtag it. And T Gray, what you got going on this week, or what you want to close out with? Where the people can find you and all that stuff. You got any consultant specials going on? Oh, you <laughs> guys you already know where to find your girl at Sex Talk with T Gray. If you want to hop on for sex advice, put you some merch, Sex Talk with T Gray.com. You guys already know you can catch me right here on WEMS Radio next Tuesday. I'm having a homie pull up tuesday on sex talk with t gray so it's gonna be a lot of fun mm-hmm. make sure you get on youtube you guys check out all my previous episodes the last two have been so fucking amazing mm-hmm. yo black men who are in love with black women we've been having fantastic conversations so y'all tap in learn something get your pen learn paper. something get school real quick you know, get you learn something <laughs> that's dope all right, and y'all already know Magical AF Podcast. I'm going to do my closing out episode with Chris Dredd, actually. Yeah, so that's why I'm saying it right now. So, you know, we're going to schedule it ASAP <laughs> so I can get you on. Y'all make sure y'all check that out because I'm sure the episode is definitely going to be that hour is going to be filled with a lot of good stuff. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Y'all make sure y'all come back here next week, Wednesday at 9 p.m. live on WEMS Radio. Make sure you click that subscribe and like button and share on YouTube. We are also on Twitch. We are everywhere. So just Google us, pull us up on Spotify, Apple, all of that good shit. And yeah, we'll see y'all back here next week. Oh, I got something to say. Um, no, I said I was gonna say DJ Stiletto, what you got? I was just closing it out because I know you close out the show, so you know. Oh. Oh, I'm just no. passing the baton okay. to you. Okay. Oh, yeah, look at my plans. My plans look sexy. Oh, oh, yeah. That's the plan. <laughs> I'm a plant mom. Profit P, put me back, please. Pro- Profit. Hey, baby. Okay, y'all. So we are going into the month of April. I have a lot of reveals and surprises for April. Yeah, that's all I'm going to leave you with that because we're going into April. So. Next time I see you, it will be what April what six or something like that. You know, it's my birthday month, so I got a whole bunch of stuff that I am revealing to everyone. Okay, Aries, turn up. I am a Taurus. I am a April Taurus at that. Oh, so, you said April eighth. That's not. No, I said no. I said that the next time we come, it'll be like April sixth or seventh or something like oh, that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But okay. my birthday is the end of April. I am a Taurus, but I'm okay. also a Diamond Baby. So I have a lot of stuff that I want to reveal um, that I'm doing. Yeah, we look forward to it. For me, though. We look said I'm about to be 40. Don't, don't push it. <laughs> don't try it. Girl, you don't look a day over 17. Stop playing. 
thank you. I'll take that. <laughs> yeah, look, stop playing. Pop. I'll take that. <laughs> but all right, go ahead, take us out with a little quick two minute mix. And again, Chris Dre, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Chris Dre. We will be following you and try to get you back on to our yeah, show. Hey, stop. And T Gray, have a very good night. Thank Pleasure you for you passing time. the baton and making me get comfortable with the mic. Boys! It's like, nah. I'm not ready yet. <laughs> Bye, baby. Bye, babies. Uh, later. Later, Chris. I was hoping he would go back so we could say bye, but you know. Says she flirted a quarter and virgin him of money and bling, so she go bed with him. Catch disease, now it started spreading. She start to see penicillin, she's dying. Mercy, please, for life she begging. When she hears her to the mark, she heading. Says she broke out at the age of seven, she dancing before she reach eleven. One man can satisfy her. She needs more wood for the fire. Six price getting higher. For more money she require. Oh, score and land she desire. So from the prostitution, what she won't retire. Flames and fire. Sun is cool. Burn the flesh, sell her on the fire. Says so she want to look. All right, y'all. You know what it is. We at Illustrate Radio each and every Wednesday from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. I'm DJ Stiletto over and out. She doesn't want me to lie. She's got something to hide. I think she wants a child. Over and out. See y'all next week. <laughs> Boy, I was born by the river, I was shaking that ass Bending over, popping pizza, I was making that cat Bring